Welcome back to my channel, Statistics for Applied Linguistics. I'm Dr. Marnie Minegra, and in this video, we are going to look at the MANOVA, or the Multivariate Analysis of Variance. So the first question, what is the MANOVA? We'll have a look at that. We'll look at how to do a MANOVA, and then at the end of this video, we'll go live in JASP to calculate a MANOVA. So a MANOVA, a Multivariate Analysis of Variance, a MANOVA is an ANOVA with several dependent variables. So it's similar to many other tests and experiments in that the purpose is to find out if the response variable or your dependent variable is changed by manipulating the independent variable. And so you can do this in place of doing multiple t-tests. Uh, so if you have several different dependent variables, uh, then you can do different t-tests or you can just do the MANOVA. They will do the same thing. Uh, this test will help you to answer many research questions, including do changes to the independent variables have statistically significant effects on the dependent variables? And what are the interactions among dependent variables? And what are the interactions among independent variables? So. The one thing to note, when we do the MANOVA in JASP, you're not going to be able to do a post hoc test or get the effect size. Otherwise, you can measure how the de dependent variables interact amongst each other along with the independent variables. So to do a MANOVA in JASP, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to save your Excel file as a CSV file and then open the CSV file in JASP, check the labels, the dependent variable should be scale and the independent variable should be nominal and add the nominal labels. So we'll look at how to do that in a moment. We'll then go to ANOVA and select MANOVA and then add the dependent variables in the dependent variable box, add the independent variables in the fixed factors box and then report which ANOVA test you're using. Click on the MANOVA tables to see the individual ANOVAs. Okay, so how would we do this? Here's the file in Excel. What we're looking at is we've got participants in three different language levels. They're in two different locations. So in these slides, I've used Tarragona versus Madrid. This of course is data that I've just made up. And here they've done three different tests. So they've done a test to rate their enjoyability in a task. They've done a test to rate the usefulness of a task, and they've done a test to do the difficulty level of a task. So another example of when you can use a MANOVA is let's say you have multiple tests. So maybe you're looking at their emotional intelligence versus their intercultural competence versus their performance on a standardized English test. Uh, you can use a MANOVA to do that as well. This is just how I labeled the example data with enjoyability, usefulness, and difficulty level. Okay, so when we get into JASP, we're going to open the file. And the first thing we need to do, we've got the labels here. So language level, I've gone through and changed the, the labels from 1, 2, and 3 to A1.1. A1.2 and A2.1 on the CAFR scale. The enjoyability, usefulness, and difficulty levels stay as scale data. Location, I need to change that to nominal and put the two different locations in. So we would change the labels up at the top. Then we would go to ANOVA and click on MANOVA. And we would put the dependent variables for scale data all together in the one group. And the independent variables are our fixed factors, which are language level and location that goes in this group here. We've got our contingency table right to the right. And we can see here that uh, in general, we've got a p-value of 0 0.001 for language level. This is significant at 0 0.035, but location, and location times language level, these are not significant. Okay, so let's look at uh, how we would get the MANOVA tables. We would choose the test here. These tests are just different ways of calculating the ANOVA and the results are going to be very close 
but we'll just keep it on the first one here and then go down and click on the ANOVA tables. And so now we're going to get different tables here, one for enjoyability, one for usefulness, and one for difficulty level. So these are the three different tests. And so for language level, we can see that there is a significant difference at language level uh, for enjoyability, also for usefulness, and then, but not for difficulty level. So the uh, language level for enjoyability and usefulness tend to be significant. All of the other factors do not show interaction effects. Okay, so you can first look at the combined results and see if there's a significant difference between the groups. Then you can look at the individual ANOVA results and see if each of these tests show a difference between the groups. So remember again, the MANOVA and JASP does not give you the effect size nor the post hoc tests. And again, the effect size, if we're doing this for an ANOVA, we would be using the ETA squared, which is 0 0.01 for small, 0 0.06 for medium, and 0.14 for large. So let's see what this looks like when we go live. I'm going to stop sharing the screen and I'm going to share JASP here. So we've got JASP open. And I'm just going to adjust and make the window a little larger. We're going to first open the file. We'll go to computer and we'll go to the folder. I'm going to use this MANOVA example data here. Now let's look at language level. First, I need to change this to nominal and we need to change the labels. So again, the first one will be A1.1. A1.2 and A2.1. This is assuming that I have three different language levels. And then we'll go to location. And let's make the first location Tarragona and the second location Madrid. Okay. And See if everything stuck. Okay, so if I can see under language level again, the third label didn't stick. So we'll go A2.1 here. And okay, so the data looks fine. Now we're going to go to ANOVA, then to MANOVA. And we're going to take our fixed factors. So our independent variables, we move them over into the fixed factor area and then our dependent variables will all go here. Okay, and we can see the contingency table just on the right hand side. And so again, we can see there is a significant difference with language level, but with location and language level by location, we don't see a significant difference. So the model we're using here and we're going to go down to additional options. So as I said before, you can switch onto these different tests. If you notice that the results, the p-values are not that different to these different tests, it doesn't matter which one you choose. They're just slight variations in the way the calculations are done. So what we want to then click on are the ANOVA tables, which will give us all of the tables right here. Okay, now, this is because we don't get the effect size or the we cannot do a post hoc test here. This actually concludes the MANOVA in JASP. So thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.